Hello, hello, here is Copper, Silver, and Steel. Welcome back to the third part of our videos where we are talking about DIY solar system. Today we will talk about the wire size that is required to connect solar inverter into battery. And depending on the solar inverter you choose, you probably have a different wire. And in today's video I will show you how to calculate all the parameters. So. One of the most popular uh, solar inverter for the household uh, maximum power is 5.5 kilowatts, which is nothing more than 5,500 watts. And the battery system is 48 volts. And how to calculate the maximum current? Let's call this case one. And I have calculated it already because the formula is to divide power over voltage and then we have the maximum current which flows over those big wires. Why this is so important? I will tell you in a second. The second popular solution is a smaller inverter, uh, 3 kilowatts of maximum power which is 3000 watts, watts and the voltage of the battery is 24 volts so the calculated current is 300 divided by 24 and it gives around 125 amps. So the first thing that you need to calculate is this value depending on the system you have because you need to calculate what will be the maximum amp value for the current flowing through your cables. All right. And how to calculate uh, what size of the cable should be used because it's crucial to the safety of the system. I will tell you why. Uh, on the internet, if you Google wire size calculator, you will find a lot of free pages when you can online calculate the required uh, the required amperage. And this is wiresizecalculator.net and I have typed the voltage, 25 volts, single phase, the material of the wire. It could be aluminum or copper. Most of the cases copper is better solution because it has higher conductivity, which means you don't need so big aluminum, so big uh, wire size. Uh, of course, if you change copper to aluminum, the values will be recalculated and probably the required calculate. And as you can see, the maximum size changes from two American wire gauge into one versus. Oh, so I will go back to copper. I will type 125 amps, 90 degrees of possible temperature. We will talk about it later. And the voltage drop I have set on the default value 1%. So for this calculation, we have, oh, sorry, I need to calculate again for the copper. We have two American wire gauge. If you live in Europe or outside the United States and you are wondering how much it is in the square millimeters, here is the table. So 2 AVG is 35 square millimeters. And this is the cable that we need. It's called, it is used for welding. Um, but as you can see, very thick copper cable. And this is the cable which will be mostly used in uh, 3, uh, 3 kilowatts and 5.5 kilowatts where the battery is 48 volts because if you divide 5500 over uh, 48 volts you will get 113 amps and it also gives you a similar result. So 35 millimeters is the cable that gives you First, safety, because um, if you give very small cable, you will create a lot of heat and you can cause fire. So, very thick wire will give you safety and you will not have losses. Because if you use smaller cable, for example, 60 square millimeters, you probably won't cause fire, but the cable will become hot. 
and hot means voltage drops, which also means uh, that energy from your battery, instead of going to your household, goes into heat and you have a heater in your garage or whatever the, the solar inverter is installed. So you need the proper cable and thanks to this video you know how to calculate the maximum current of your solar inverter. The next thing that you should uh, of course uh, consider is the fuse. I give you the example of 100 amps fuse or 125 amps fuse. In our case, for both of these uh, cases, I will pick, of course, the fuse 125 amps because it's something wrong with the connection between inverter and the battery and the current flows too much, too high, the fuse will break the circuit. So the fuse is also important things. Okay, I think, of course, if you, if you choose the proper size of the cable that will connect your solar inverter into battery, you will also need uh, these endings and crimping piler to make a proper wire. But this is the topic for the next video, so if you like this channel, if you like this video, give me a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe. In the next video, we will create a cable. And of course, uh, this is one more thing that I have forgotten. In the calculator, you also give a distance. In this case, the distance in feet. Uh, if you are designing your installation, you have to create as uh, shortest uh, connection as possible, of course, to give uh, the space for ventilation, etc. And uh, the maximum three feet, one meter, something around this won't cause a very um, big losses. Uh, because you have to remember that uh, cable and the current which flows in the cable, the losses, the overall losses is Mm. depends on the size, of course, of the wire. This is the first thing. And the second thing is the, the length of the cable. So we are trying to make as short as possible, of course, to uh, satisfy all the safety instructions and the safety manuals. For example, how mm, much space around the solar inverter should be left for a, mm, airflow and ventilation. So I think I have said everything that I wanted to say to you, but if you have any misunderstandings, questions, don't forget to give me a comment. Thanks for watching. It was Copper, Silver and Steel.